Hello out there to you. We got this problem here. Uh, we've got a total cost function, or sometimes called a cost function. We're in perfect competition. We need to know what the long run quantity for the firm is, what the long run equilibrium price is, and then we're given industry demand. We know how many firms uh, if they are identical. So we're supposed to assume these firms are identical. So. Um, we have to know a couple of things about uh, perfect competition. We know that they're selling identical products uh, and they're all going to be price takers. They're going to take whatever the price is. Um, long run equilibrium quantity is this quantity right here. So what they're really saying is that in the long run, price is going to equal average total cost which is also going to equal marginal cost, which is going to happen at the average total cost minimum for a single firm. So to illustrate this point really quick, you know, this market right now is at equilibrium. Let's say that the product uh, experiences an increase in demand. Okay, so there's this new demand shift up here. Uh, now there's this new price. So now, whoa. Uh, pretend that's straight. Now the um, the single firm is now going to profit maximize. They're going to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, so which is now right here instead of right there. So they're going to earn some profit. Okay. Now because perfectly competitive markets uh, are unable to keep out competition, new firms are going to show up and start to compete. So that's going to increase the supply as we head back towards long run equilibrium, pushing the price back down, and we end up right back where we started from in the long run. Sometimes students ask me, how long is the long run? Well, it's long enough for this to happen, which I know is kind of a joke, but it's just something we look back on and we notice, okay? So this is what we're up to, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of, uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Okay, so I've got this cost function. Let's do the math here. Equilibrium quantity for the firm, equilibrium price in this industry. So uh, I've got the condition down there. I need to know where average total cost equals marginal cost. So what is average total cost? Let's find out. What is marginal cost? Okay, so average total cost is total cost divided by quantity. What is marginal cost? Well, it's the rate of change in the total cost function. Okay, so we could say it's just the partial derivative with respect to uh, Q right there. Okay, so average total cost, I'm just going to go through and divide everything by Q. So it's just this function right here but then divided by Q. So just divide by Q, divide by Q, divide by Q. And what we're left with is 8Q squared minus 80Q my, uh, plus, rather, sorry, 1800. That's average total cost. Now, to find marginal cost, I'm going to take the partial derivative of this, so that becomes 2q, oh, it does not, it becomes 3q squared minus 160q plus 1800. Okay, so to find the quantity for each firm, long run equilibrium quantity, uh, I'm just going to set marginal cost equal to average total cost, and this means that 3q squared minus 16q plus 1800 needs to equal uh, q squared minus 80Q plus 1800. Okay, the 1800s are going to cancel out there. And then we'll bring over this Q squared. So now we've got 
q squared. Okay, and that's going to equal. Uh, oh, I think I made a mistake there. That's supposed to be 160. Should have caught me on that. Okay, so we'll move that over there. So that's 80 q. And divide both sides by q, and we've got 2 q equals 80, and q equals 40. Let me go up and fix my calculus here. This be 160q. There we go. Okay, and so now I know that the that this quantity right here is 40 in this market. And now I just plug that into uh, either one and it should kick out a price. So if I do that, I can go, um, yeah, I'll just do the, the one with that's uh, squared, might be a little easier. So 40 squared, this is the average total cost. Okay, so 40 squared plus 80 times 40 plus 1800 that's not a plus that's a minus man well, I'm making all kinds of mistakes here um, and then when I do all that out should get a price equals average total cost of 200 okay so now we know that long run price is 200. Okay. Um, so I've got long run quantity for each firm is 40 units. Price is 200. Okay. Uh, now I know um, here we need to know what the quantity demanded is. So industry demand gives us. Um, quantity demanded at that price. So QD equals 14,600 minus 3 times 200. Okay, and so market demand is 14,000. Okay, so there's 14,000 products that need to be produced. We're going to divide that by 40. And so each, uh, or how many firms are there? Because each firm is going to produce 40. There's 14,000 needs to be produced. So that's going to be done by 350 firms. I punched that into a calculator earlier. Okay, so 350 firms will produce that many uh, units. That's 350. And then um, positive demand shock. Okay, so we're just going to resolve. Um, for that that market outcomes, so the industry's demand shock. Uh, the industry will um, sell sell more units, okay, at whatever price that is, and then long run, more firms are going to show up and push that price back down. And you can just follow that same process. So just to recap our steps here, um, what we need to do to find long run equilibrium quantity and price is recognize that price is going to equal average total cost and marginal cost. Find uh, marginal cost in um, in the uh, in out of the total cost function. Find average total cost by just dividing the quantity by dividing the whole function by the quantity, and then uh, set those equal to each other. That gives you the quantity for a single firm. Divide that by total output gives you the per the number of firms that you need in the market.